Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. to put in that little song. <laughs> what? It's true. Someone is hiding in these woods. But I can't seem to find them. Where did they go? And they know that they can't hide forever from me. They always knew that. You thought that you could run away because you have information about me that shouldn't be in police hands. So, where are you? You've been running for quite a long time now. For about... Hmm, it's been... I've been chasing you since sunset, and it's about dark. So, I want to say... An hour and a two, maybe. You've been running for quite a long time. Why don't you just give up? This little game of cat and mouse is getting on my nerves. Do I look like the type of person that wants to play games? <laughs> oh, it's so funny to see these little pesks try to survive as long as they can. When in reality, they know there's only one way that they'll be at getting out of this. And that only way is to have my knife in the back of their skulls. The only way they'll be able to escape my wrath is to feel it. And yet you decide to still run out there, trying to make sure that every last breath of yours lasts for a lifetime. When in reality, <laughs> it's all futile. You think you have a chance to hide away. Hide, hide, hide away. But in reality, 
<laughs> you have no chance. So why don't you just give up? Your feet are getting tired. You're running oh so much. Your breath is getting even more heavy within every footstep that you take in these woods. Why do you try? Even though there's no use in trying. So come out. I just want to have a short conversation with you. Just a small one. It's not going to take much time at all, really. It's more a conversation with a sharp <laughs> ending, you know? <laughs> So come on out. I know you don't have any weapons to help you through all this. After all, you dropped all your equipment a mile back when you started running from me. Because you were just so slow with all that clanky stuff on your body. All that equipment was slowing you down. And you know you can't run forever. Even though you were highly trained to run a quite a long distance to chase down your victims. The ones that you try to, you know, either shoot down with your little pistol or just arrest them under false charges that they never did. But I know different... I know different. You are just like me. You say you doing it out of the own kindness of your heart and the safety of the people. And yet those same people look at you with disgust because they know exactly what type of person you are. You police have no right in bringing down people for their own freedom of speech. <laughs> it's so funny to see these pigs run for the hills when they realize that they have no power. It's so funny to see that these little pigs try to hide in these huts that the government has put them in. When in reality, the citizens are the big, bad wolves that try and try to blow their houses down. And some, most, don't succeed. And the pigs get them and put them inside of their own houses that they made for criminals. But, <laughs> there are certain wolves out there who do try, and they succeed in bringing down these pigs who think that they are protected by the ones above them. And once they realize that they're not safe and their houses have been blown down, <laughs> they're the ones running with their tails behind them. <laughs> Just now, you can hear a bunch of fires, a bunch of gunshots, 
in these woods, hunting down the people that you say are criminals, when in reality, you are the criminals. You're the ones killing innocent people. So, I think... There needs to be a change in all of this. <laughs> you thought you could run away? <laughs> <laughs> so, listen to me with your dying last breaths. <laughs> you are nothing but a pig in a uniform. You are me, but you hide behind these laws that these overlords put on us. But now, in these woods, I'm the one who makes the rules. So, I have a new rule I want to put on. And this rule is to put every single pig inside of a uniform like the one you're wearing to sleep. Just wash this sweatshirt too. <laughs> On to the next one. <laughs>